What is up everybody, it's your boy Cameron Bash here and welcome back to the Movement Channel. Today, we're coming at you all with another WWE 2K22 video, where in this one, we're going to be showing you how you can turn your My GM mode into an AEW My GM mode. That's right folks, you heard correctly. Today, we take your boring old in-game My GM mode and we're turning it into a fully customized experience. So if this isn't a mode that you're already having fun with, hopefully after this video, you may actually find your own value in the mode. So, to set this up, the stuff that you'll need to do is pretty straightforward and simple, although it can be a little bit time consuming. But that's one of the main reasons we wanted to put this video together, to hopefully streamline the process and get you all set up as quickly as possible. To start us off, before we jump into my GM mode, there are a few things that we need to sort out first. The first and perhaps the most important thing that we need to do, is our roster. Now there are a few different ways that you can do this, depending on how you personally like to play my GM mode. If you're someone who enjoys playing or watching the matches while you play my GM, then you're going to need to source a created superstar for every single person that you want on your roster. This is as easy as heading over to Community Creations and typing in the name of the superstar that you want to download, as you see me doing here with MJF. There will be a few different options for people like MJF, who are a bit more popular in the wrestling community, so after you've found one you like, go ahead and download it. This custom superstar that you just downloaded will need to have a custom render as well, so you can also grab that off community creations as well if you like, or you can upload your own. I decided to upload my own so I could get one of better quality. So that's one way to get superstars for your roster, and as I said, if you play or watch the matches in my GM mode, this is what you'll need to do for every wrestler on the roster. However, if you don't go through my GM mode playing or watching the matches and instead, you simulate all of your matches, then there is another method of getting wrestlers for your roster. To do this, Simply get the render of the person that you'd like to add to the roster. In this case, I'm going to be uploading a QT Marshall render. Once that's in my game, I head over to create a superstar, simply select the class and weight class that's suitable for my character, then head over to the personal information, and set the custom render. And there you go, I now have a QT Marshall ready to go for my GM mode. My GM mode is operated with its very own set of stats, so besides from details like the hometown name and custom render, if all you're doing is simulating your matches, nothing else about the custom character will be seen in the mode, and therefore, it doesn't matter that the core you just made is completely default other than a handful of things. Setting your My GM mode up for simulation can be good, especially in the early days of this game, as for now, there aren't that many good cores available for some of the lesser known wrestlers out there, so rather than waiting for someone to make them so you can have this experience, Set those custom renders onto default cores, and enjoy the mode like this for now. My GM mode requires a minimum of 60 active superstars in order to begin, so you can either make 60 custom superstars for this, or you can draft in some of the in-game superstars as well. Of course, there are a few people in the game that are already in AEW, such as Kyle O'Reilly and Keith Lee, so you can just add those in if you like, as well as any other superstars that you'd like to see in your very own dream AEW roster, such as Sami Zayn or Kevin Owens. Once you've got all the custom superstars that you need into the game, there's just one more that you're going to need to make, and that is of course the general manager of AEW, Tony Khan. So make sure you create him as well, and if you'd like to use the same custom render that I've used here, you can find a download link in the description down below for not only him, but the other 36 custom renders I edited and used for this video. Each render is named after the person who originally cut it out on DeviantArt, so if you would like to throw some support their way as well, you're now able to. Now that all our custom characters are complete, we can finally jump into my GM mode. When you load up the mode, start a new save. The first thing you'll need to do is select your GM. So come on over to the custom GM and then select Tony Khan from there. The next thing you'll need to do is pick your brand. Now unfortunately, this is one of the aspects of my GM mode that isn't customizable. So while we won't be able to pick AEW as our brand, NXT is certainly a good close second. After you've selected your brand, you'll have the ability to edit the session settings. I went with William Regal as the GM I would face, along with NXT UK, think of it like an AEW Rampage. And then from there, we have to edit the most important setting to get our AEW roster loaded in. For this, go to Draft Pool, change the default to Custom, then press Select. You'll be taken to this page, where you'll need to select the pool you want to use. Begin by selecting one of the ones that say New. This will take you into the Draft Pool customization page. Now it's this part of the process that can be pretty time consuming, but if you follow these steps that we're about to lay out for you, you should be able to get through it a little bit quicker. The first thing you'll want to do here is go through and turn everyone's status to inactive. This way they won't appear on the roster. Once you've done that, press your right or left bumper to filter over to the custom superstars. From here, 
you'll easily be able to set all of your custom AEW superstars as active members of your roster. Once you've set the people you'd like to set on the roster, you'll then want to edit their popularity, role and class so that they are accurate to the real person. If you're looking for some guidance on how to set this up, I would say that you'll want to set your main eventers to around 60 to 63 popularity, your mid carders at around 55 to 60, and then your lower carders at around 45 to 55. Anything lower than that and they'll be a bit difficult to use on your shows. As far as your legends go, set those between 60 to 70 depending on how you feel about them. As far as the classes go, the symbol with the arrow going through it is the specialist class, the wing symbol is the high flyer class, the fist symbol is the fighter class, the brass knuckle symbol is the brawler class, and the mountain symbol is the giant class. You'll want to make sure that you have a nice range of these classes in your draft pool, as you'll need that variety in order to put on good matches during your shows. So if you feel like you've put too many fighters on your roster, maybe make the next fighter you'd set as a brawler instead, just to mix it up a bit. Once you've edited the custom superstars, which you'll need to do as they'll be set up all over the place by default, you can then go through and add in any in-game superstars that you'd like to your pool. I typically keep the enhancement talent in the local pool, make a couple of the more mainstream legends part of the legends pool, and then add a few of my dream AEW roster members, as mentioned earlier, so that I have a grand total of 60 active competitors, plus any extra local and legend talents. Once you've done that, press accept to save the draft pool, give it a name, then select it from the same list you selected new from, and with that, your custom AEW draft pool will be loaded into the mode, and with one final press of the accept button, your custom AEW My GM mode will begin. Draft your rosters and compete with the AI or your friend, depending on however you set it up. And with that guys, that's going to do it for this video. If this video helped you out and you want to see more like it in the future, let us know in the comment section down below, and while you're down there, don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe for more WWE 2K22 content. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you soon for another one.